Hey guys, that Mutt Gamer back here for another video. Guys, welcome back. This is actually Mutt 17 introduction video. This is actually my first time playing Mutt 17. And as you can see on your screen, this will be, um, you know, the start of a Mad 17. So hopefully if you do enjoy this video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new. And actually what we can do is collect NFL stars. So pretty much what this means is, as you can see on your screen, like Joe Flacco and Terrell Suggs, you get two 77 overall editions of any uh, you know, people you choose. So if you choose Larry Fitzgerald and Peterson, you get 277 overall editions of those cards. Now, I was going to choose Eric Berry and Jamal Charles, but I did decide to choose um, Mr. Cam Newton and Luke Keekley mainly because I love using my middle linebacker, and I also love, you know, running with my quarterback. So that's why I did choose those two players, but obviously, you know, you can choose any single one you want, and they all only 77 overall, so it's not like, you know, they're like it's a crazy choice honestly that is kind of surprising though seeing that we're getting free 77 overalls last year we started out getting free 70 overall so maybe that means something different this year with like you know the overalls wise last year was a lot harder to get overalls you know that quickly this year it seems to be a lot different but i'm gonna play the solo and now i'm back so i just played the solo guys we get a free Marcus Peter, so when you complete that solo, it's not a random card you get. You always get Marcus Peter, so if you're all wondering, yeah, you don't get anything but Marcus Peter. So, kind of, you know, lame that you only get Marcus Peters, but it's whatever. It's just how it is, but maybe overalls this year will be a lot easier to get, you know, because last year it seemed like overalls were, they wanted people not to have high overalls at all. This year it's a little bit different. For example, we'll see later in the video, but... There's ways to get 90 overall players right now, which, as you guys know, Legends are 91 to 90 overall. So, it's definitely interesting for that aspect, but hopefully, you know, it's not too easy. But at the same respect, I don't want it to be too difficult. I feel like last year was a lot really difficult with trying to get high overalls. Now, this, as you can see, is my loyalty reward program crap, whatever you call it. Um, it's loyalty badges, which you get from last year playing the game. And as you can see, I'm actually, those are all the sets, but we'll look at the sets later on. Um, I got, I had four badges, like four actual voucher badges last year on this account. And I got nine this year on Madden 17 account. So I don't know if, how that like adds up how, you know, I got nine, I had four and now I have nine. So I don't know how that adds up, but also, make sure when you do sign, when you do um, turn on Madden, you do let NFL, you know, send you emails, which just gives you a free pack, which you get just, you know, free um, event tickets. So, pretty nice for that aspect. But, as you can see, I do have nine loyalty badges. So, what are we going to do? We are going to go look at the sets, guys, because what we need to do is see these Team Hero sets and see how all the sets are different. Now, I, I did hear somebody tell or say that, you know, Madden Mobile is not always like Madden. Um, actually, hang on, guys. Right here, this is the Player of the Month, a Man of the Month award. And Von Miller is right now, but every month that will update and there'll be a new guy. Whoever does amazing for whatever month it is. But someone did say that, you know, that the Team Hero sets, that, that, that was Madden Mobile. And I made a video about this whole Team Hero sets in general. And someone said, like, oh, that's Madden Mobile. And, you know, that's not what's going to happen in Madden. But in reality, guys, those two games are very, very similar. If something happens in Madden Mobile, there's a good chance it's going to happen in actual Madden. So you can kind of, in a way, based off, you know, stuff's coming out based on that. And that's how a lot of people last year, you know, they got the whole Christmas presents and they were able to make a lot of coins off of it was because of the fact they could, you know, kind of base everything off Madden Mobile. So don't, you know, go crazy with Madden Mobile basing things, but definitely it can help you out and make you a lot of coins if you base stuff off Madden Mobile. So that's a little key tip right there, guys. But as you can see right here, we all in the earn badges set. I mean, earn badges, Um, yeah, sets. And as you can see right here, team items, you have 15 items you trade in and you get two badges. I think last year was 10, I believe. I think, and it was like 10 of each, so kind of weird, but as you can see, flashback badge, so what this means, guys, is you put five or, yeah, five badges together, elite badges, and you get a flashback badge, which you put into these sets with the other player collectibles, 
and you get the flashback player. So this year there's no flashback pack where you can get one random player. I kind of like this better in a way because I feel like it's a lot easier, um, you know, to actually make your money. Unlike last year where you had a chance of getting a 10k card when you put in 200k worth of stuff. The legends are the same pretty much as last year. You know, just collectibles, the player, and that's pretty much it. So, just you put the collectibles in there with the rookie edition of the player, and that's it. And as you can see, there's a lot of new rookies this year, which I really like. Champ Bailey, um, the Ray guy, it's definitely awesome to see that. But now let's go and look at the loyalty rewards. These are all the loyalty rewards um, that you could do with your badges if you do have some badges silver pack silver pack event tickets pro pack uh, Gold pack gold pack again, which is a three on offense and three players on defense Whatever you choose of course, and then we have all pro elite offense elite defense and then legendary finally I'm probably gonna gonna do the pro pack and then I'm probably gonna do um, two contract packs because that's honestly you know, I don't have that much, and I don't feel like, you know, I don't know. I, I can't, when you can't really get more. You kind of have to deal with not having that much, so it's whatever. But, you know, right here, as you can see, these are new pro packs. And these new pro packs are actually, uh, what's called, it has Gronkowski on the cover. So, you know, it's kind of interesting. I, of course, it's whatever the main person of Madden is is going to be on the cover. But it definitely looks really nice. I felt like last year it didn't look as nice as it does this year, so... Definitely nice to see them upgrading that aspect of the, you know, packs. I mean, and again, packs don't really matter what they look like, of course, because it's just something you open up, you get whatever card you get, probably going to be crap, and then you get rid of it, whatever. But packs, I don't know, the whole aspect of it, especially how it looks this year with these, you know, like fire flames they're doing, it definitely makes it a lot, you know, more fun to open packs. Last year was just like plain, you know, it opens, whatever. Not really fun at all. Now let, let's, let's now look at the competitive. Now again, this is just draft champion stuff. So if you play draft champions, guys, this is the, where you put all your, you know, badges and stuff like that. What is this? Add 100 competitive badges from draft champions to uh, get these players. So just, you know, normal stuff. They did this last year with draft events. I think they called it. Uh, and then, of course, we have Mutt Master and a Gauntlet. To finish off this, um, these these two look like the... Um, Mutt Master looks ridiculous. And Gauntlet, I do not know, even know how to do this. So, I'm getting 88 overall Joe Hayden. I don't really know how to do all that kind of stuff right now. So, if I find out about it, I will definitely tell you. But, here we go, guys. Now, I completed all eight solos. You do have to complete eight solos. Four offense, four defense against the Panthers and the Broncos. And then you unlock all these solo challenges, guys. So, once you do complete all the, um, you know, those solos, you do complete these solos. And it's kind of like, oh, what was it? it was it Mad 25, I think? No, Mad 15, where you had preseason, then you had regular season, and I think... Then you had playoffs or something like that. They kind of they're doing that this year pretty much. With the, these are the preseason games as you can see. Well, we have offense, defense. Then we have preseason week one through whatever. And the nice thing they actually have is rewards are nice. You actually get players for winning these games, guys. So you get that certain player. But as you can see, they actually show how much coins you make and everything on the outside of the solos. So that's very, very interesting and very, very cool at the same time. So as you can see, you get a pro pack. But as you can see, this cost, actually as it goes down, it goes up. But 25000 for that solo sequence, definitely awesome to see that. Now these are just situational games that again is like, you know, they tell you what they want you to do and you do it. So that's pretty much what you do. 75 rushing yards for that Texans one. And that's pretty much how it works. Um, the All these solos are really cool. They definitely are very rewarding. And I have to give EA props for that aspect of the game that they make, you know, stuff very rewarding this year. And that really makes people come back and want to play the game more is when you make everything rewarding. When you make everything, you know, make it so it's rewarding and it's worth playing. That's when people will play solos. That's when people do all this stuff because it's worth it to them to do it. Now, these are the actual regular season solo challenges. Now, you do not need to play the preseason to unlock the regular season. So, 
it's not like you know Madden 15 in that aspect, but it's like that because you had the preseason and then you had the regular season solos. I don't know if these are gonna expire, but as you can see, you get 13,600 coins for completing all this, 16 challenges, 11 packs and items, and all that kind of aspect, guys. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and make sure, guys, if you want to see more Madden content, you hit that like button. I will be doing a draft champions video uh, of me doing a draft, draft champion draft, Madden 17 edition. I will be doing that. Uh, it, it will probably be out right now, so go check it out on my channel. But anyway, guys, peace out.